because whenever you do that you're saying that you are worth less than them in comparison like they you know you like this person they don't like you back and then there's someone that you don't like back but they like you that sort of thing they're really attractive and sometimes you can't even really pinpoint exactly what it is you just know that you just like them so much like there's just something about them that just draws you to them you know i mean maybe it is the fact that they're just so cute like physically like they're probably really fit you know they have a fit body or they have really nice hair or just like a beautiful smile or like a pretty face you know or a handsome face you know or maybe it's the way that they interact with people the way that they talk to people the way that they talk to you you know it could even be maybe like some of their talents that they have like the way that they play certain sports or the fact that they can draw or play a certain instrument like maybe they play a guitar and that was just unexpected for them to know how to play a guitar like that and just whatever it is like different traits you end up just finding just so attractive about them and it just draws you in to the point where it's like almost not in your control and you know for whatever reason the feelings are not reciprocated and so if you've ever experienced anything like that where there was just something about someone and they just had you on lock they just had you just stuck for whatever reason and maybe you shot your shot or maybe you like try to talk to them and or maybe you told somebody that you like them or you told them that you like them and it uh didn't go how you expected they rejected you basically they said they didn't like you back or they just said that they weren't attracted to you as much and sometimes that even you know is something that could cause you to make them make you like them even more you know but if that's you stay tuned for the rest of the video because that's not a coincidence you know and i'm gonna say that a lot throughout my videos because there really is a deeper explanation behind a lot of different things it's an important thing to really pay attention to the fact that you don't necessarily know what it is that you find attractive about the person you just know you're so drawn to them and you just find them to be literally the best person ever and sometimes what it really is is because of you putting them on a pedestal that's really why you even like the person you don't even know anything about this person specifically for you to even like them because i'm not going to say that you have to know everything about somebody in order to like them because it's not really how it works but at the same time it's a thing of like when you're in a certain type of energy certain things like that occur where you'll have crushes on people and put them on the pedestal and you'll just think they're literally the best person ever and like you're meant to be with this person and the whole time it's just that you have self-worth issues and you're in that stage where you're putting people above yourself and seeing people worth more than yourself and sometimes it's even the thing of like there's certain qualities about that person that you feel like you don't have about yourself but you actually do you just haven't realized it yet and because those qualities they have are qualities that you desire that's what's leading you to put them on a pedestal because you think that it's something that's outside of your reach for yourself but if you're able to be with that person romantically like have them as as a romantic partner that that somehow will fulfill that need of of those qualities that you feel like you want to have for yourself that you don't realize again that you can develop those qualities on your own but you just haven't realized it yet and you think that it's only for special people so you see this person with those qualities and that's really what it is that's making you so drawn to them it's not even really them as an individual which in turn is why a lot of times they don't like you back because those people a lot of times can sense that like that you don't even really like them that you don't even really know them because the energy that you're giving off sometimes it's just a thing of like you're just being too desperate you're just being too needy you know but also whenever you do that like again the desperate needy thing it's just like you're just saying that you're not really worth anything special like there's not really anything special about you hold such random importance for an individual 
and be the type of person where you're letting them get away with certain things that you wouldn't let other people get away with and you think again that it's because they are just the best person for you you're meant to be with them there's just something so special about them so you're letting them get away with any and everything and that is just again a reflection of like you not realizing your own worth as an individual and these people also know that and can sense that sometimes sometimes those people take advantage of that fact that you haven't yet and then some people you know again they end up just rejecting you because they're like oh well this person obviously needs to go heal this person obviously needs to you know do some more inner work so that they can realize that they also are a very special person um because whenever you're in that stage you end up just blowing certain things out of proportion and again it really doesn't that's not to say these people are not special people but it's just like to the extent that i'm talking about when you're in that type of mindset when you're in that type of energy you're just making it seem like they're like just the best i was gonna say like they're god or something for you like you just have to bow down to these people like they're just so amazing and a lot of times they're really just people man and you're viewing it like that because there's certain wounds and stuff, you know. What I talk about in my other videos and everything, which I'll link. Whenever it comes to liking somebody, we all have experienced that. Like, I've liked plenty of people throughout my lifetime, you know what I mean? Like, it's it's a normal thing. It's natural for us to like people. It's natu natural for us to, like, be drawn to other people. I'm just saying it's a natural thing to like somebody, you know? It's a natural thing to want to be more than just acquaintances. Want to be more than just, like friends and you want it to be more than just a crush you know where you're just liking this person in the distance and uh you know it almost seems like every time you find somebody that you really like they don't like you back for some reason like every time you find that specific person that just really meets all the standards that you would like in a person they just somehow never like you back but there's always those people though that feel that way about you like where they like you a lot but it's like when you look at them you're not attracted to them and it doesn't even have to be because of physical appearance it could be maybe their personality or maybe it's the way that they act maybe the way that they act towards you because they like you is a part of the reason why you don't like them back and that also is going to contribute towards what I'm gonna explain why the person that you like don't like you back. It's energy. Yeah, not sure if anybody guessed that, but it's energy. So like, you ever, I, I love using this example, but so you ever notice how, okay, people that are really in need, right? Like, people you can tell, like, their clothes has holes in them, their clothes is dirty, they look scruffy, like, they look like they've been on the street, like, a homeless person, right? When those people ask for money, do you ever notice how it seems like nobody ever wants to give them money? That's not to say that nobody ever does, but do you just notice how nobody seems like they really want to give them money, even though they can clearly tell this person needs it, right? But if there's like some type of businessman and he's standing in the same area or something and he's like selling products or something, it seems like people are more willing to give their money to somebody that's in a suit with watches and, you know, selling a certain product or asking for money or whatever because they look like they're put together like they don't need it. So the person that looks like they already have money, people want to give more money to them. But the person that looks like they don't have money nobody wants to give them the money it's not a coincidence it's not so what it is specifically do you think that's a coincidence it's not <laughs> but anyways like i was saying so it's an energy thing desperateness neediness you know it's definitely like an energy thing Whenever you're coming off as like somebody who doesn't have it, somebody who needs it, somebody who's relying on other people, somebody who's desperate and needy, that's like a natural repellent. It's a natural repellent. But someone who's standing in their power seems like they already have it all figured out. 
and like they don't need help that makes people want to help you and it's the same thing for when it comes to liking somebody if you overly like someone too much to the point where that's the energy you're giving off where it's just a little too much it's coming off as needy and desperate because again there's nothing wrong with liking somebody a lot but it's just the energy that you put behind that if it's a gotta have it like right now like you know never seem to have anything like this before thing so you just are just acting just really desperate it's gonna be a natural repellent and as far as the people that like you that you don't like it's just that's just how it goes like there's always you know you like this person they don't like you back and then there's someone that you don't like back but they like you that sort of thing that can be really discouraging to like like somebody that much and they just be the absolute perfect person for you you know this person being the absolute right person for you and just for whatever reason they just do not like you back and if that's something that like happens multiple times of course it makes sense in some sense for that to diminish somebody's like just how they're looking at their self wondering if there's something wrong you know you know because that can be confusing you know how do all of the people that, how do the people that you want never want you back yeah and how do the people i never want always want me so it ends up making you feel like you don't have a choice or like you don't have a pick or like you just are never chosen you know and that feeling that can come up also triggers childhood wounds and the never being chosen thing you know makes you feel like you're not worthy or like you're not worth any like you're not worth it you know to be a person that's special enough to get what you want and to be the one that's chosen for the things that you want or being chose by somebody that you're perceiving to be such a great individual and you know sometimes another thing what it is is you're putting a person on a pedestal and that also is a energy thing because whenever you do that you're actually putting this person above you as if you're saying that you are worth less than them in comparison like they are just way more valuable as an individual than you are and that is the energy that you are putting in the atmosphere so that is the energy that is going to be reciprocated you know you're putting off as if you're not worthy you're not as worth it as this individual this person's more important than you you feel like this person is worth more than you you feel like this person is more valuable than you you feel like this person has more to offer than than you and that's why you view them as such a great individual why you view them as somebody that's just so holy grail or whatever it is you know that is the energy that you just pushed in the atmosphere and so that's what's gonna be given back to you resulting in them not wanting you because you're like well you just told me that you're not really like that you're not really all that you're not really worth it for real so why would i want that that's literally what's happening in the situation i hope what i'm saying makes sense you're best basically i say you're bestie you're basically telling these people that you're lame like you're basically telling these people that you're lame and you're not worth it and you're not the cool person in the situation you're not the person that everybody wants you're not the person that is usually picked you're not the person that is first picked you're not the person that's really valuable in the dynamic and so if you're opting out as the person that if you're opting out as the person that you know is just lame and you want to carry that energy in the situation that's why people end up not wanting you back but what you'll end up learning is that you've been putting people on pedestals and you know putting people on pedestals is also putting certain things outside of yourself as if you again are not seeing yourself as a great individual not seeing yourself as a valuable individual once you leave that once you leave that type of energy behind and you realize your worth as an individual and you look at this and, and you look at these people and you're like oh they're really just people you're like they're, they're great and they are amazing and they are valuable you know they're very beautiful people very attractive people and so am i you know and we're really just all here and it's not a thing of like oh my god they're so much better than me and i'm so down here and i gotta praise them and i gotta give off all this energy as if i just 
want to obey their every word and like I'm just so beneath them like once you leave that you'll start to just realize and that is a energy shift like once you start to realize your own worth you shift from the energy of you know that needy desperateness to that low self-worth type of energy behavior to the I'm worth it I know my value as an individual I have so much to offer the entire world you know and to this other individual whoever I pick because I see myself just as worthy as the next person and you just have a very strong sense of self and self-worth about yourself and you'll start to be able to you know attract the people that you want and you'll start to be able to date somebody that you want and also wants you back as well versus it being like you just have to accept the people that like you even though you don't like them um if you liked the video or if you resonated with anything i spoke about consider liking subscribing and sharing so that this video reaches someone who may also need to hear this message um i hope what i said makes sense and thank you and bye